The Feast of the Palombella is celebrated in Piazza del Duomo at midday on the day of Pentecost or Whit Sunday, which is the 50th day after Easter. A secular tradition that has been celebrated annually since the end of the 14th century. The ceremony commemorates the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Madonna and the Apostles when they're together in the Cenacle. Early documents dating back to 1404 tell us that the Feast of the Palombella was originally held inside the cathedral. In 1524, the noble lady Giovanna Monodesca della Cervara left her estate, the Castello della Sala, to Orvieto's Opera del Duomo in her will, together with her wish that this festival would continue to be celebrated. Her will is now conserved in the archives of the Opera del Duomo and is available for visitors to read. The Palombella was held inside the cathedral for many years, but later the Lateran Roman Council forbade the use of fireworks inside churches and places of worship and the ceremony was transferred to the piazza outside the Duomo in 1846. A tabernacle in Gothic style with the figures of Mary and the Apostles was placed on the steps in front of the central portal of the Duomo. This represents the Cenacle and the dove was sent along a wire from the top of the Saracinelli in finer buildings down towards the Duomo. In 1940, the wire was extended to the Church of San Francesco in Via Maitani, opposite the Duomo, behind its original position. A shrine representing the Empyrean sky, or the highest of the skies, and therefore the presence of God, was made and placed on the roof of San Francesco Church. And at midday, the bishop waved a white linen handkerchief from the loggia of the Opera del Duomo. This was to order Master Mason of the Cathedral to set off the fireworks, and then a white dove, with its wings spread out, slid swiftly down the wire on a perch and a wheel amid loud bangs and clouds of smoke to the tabernacle. The master mason would light the rockets and fireworks on the spokes of the wheel around the dove before it left. The wings of the dove were tied to the wheel with red ribbons to make sure they stayed open. The ceremony continued to be celebrated in this way until a few years ago. Then, after protests from animal activists, the dove was placed in a soundproof container to protect the bird from the noise of the fireworks. In the past, people drew good or bad omens for the agricultural year from the outcome of the ceremony. And, according to the ancient tradition, the bishop gives the dove to the latest bride in the town.